I defended my PhD in astrophysics at the age of 25. And despite finishing eight years earlier than the national average, I was still terrified of being judged as delusional for believing in God. Their judgment, it's based on a flawed premise. I have an equation named after me because I solved a problem that top physics and astronomy professors said was impossible to crack, only to realize that was the easy part. The harder challenge was building the unshakable, tranquil conviction that you're also desperately searching for. What if the key is hidden in the very scientific research they claim disproves your faith? My name is Dr. Yosef Wolf, and I help logical thinkers build unshakable conviction by revealing the hidden unity between modern science and ancient wisdom. But in order to accomplish this, I first had to do the most illogical thing a graduate student would ever think of. As my academic career was about to take off, I did a 180. After successfully defending my PhD, I walked away from a promising future in academia and I walked straight into yeshiva. For almost two years, I didn't look at physics equations. I just learned Judaism. I dove into the why. I traded my scientific journals for the five books of Moses, the Talmud, and the Tanya for this deep ancient body of wisdom. And that's when the aha moments started happening. One after another, it was like a series of light bulbs going off in my mind. I wasn't abandoning science. I was finding the source code for it. But this source code did more than just give me new insights. It revealed exactly what that flawed premise is and why it's so fundamentally unscientific. And that journey, that deep dive into the underlying connections is what is leading to my new book on Torah and science. If you want an exclusive sneak peek and to get my latest weekly insights, I've put a link to my newsletter below the subscribe button in the pinned comment. It's the first place I'm sharing this new research. The academic bias you're afraid of is the belief that if a claim cannot be tested by the scientific method, it's delusional. That's the judgment. But that premise itself is unscientific. It assumes the scientific method is the only tool for finding truth. It ignores the data. And that's when I found the key. The data is there, just not where they're looking. It's hidden in the unity between the two. I would be reading a piece of Talmud and realize it was using a similar axiomatic logical framework that I used to solve physics problems. I'd be studying Tanya and see a perfect detailed map of human consciousness that predates modern neuroscience by centuries. I'd be learning a passage from the Zohar and see it describing concepts of creation, vibrating strings as fundamental, the idea of a unified field, that all sound an awful lot like what is described in quantum mechanics. And at other times, there'll be a straight prediction that sounded so crazy to medieval philosophers, but we now know is ahead of its time. Like the Talmud's claim that the Pleiades star cluster has thousands of stars, even though we can only see between six and eight with the unaided eye. I realized I hadn't been living a double life. I had just been looking at two halves of a single blueprint for reality. The conflict wasn't real. It was a scientific illusion created by a flawed premise. I had found my own conviction. However, I realized that finding my truth wasn't the end of that challenge. It was the beginning. What was I supposed to do with this key? This is what you do with it. You build a mission. My religious conviction wasn't just kept during my PhD. It was ignited by the search that came after. It's not built on blind faith. It's built on more data. It's built on seeing the same patterns of truth in the physical world, the study of Torah, and the metaphysical insights of Jewish mysticism. And this has morphed into my mission, my why. I help logical thinkers build unshakable conviction by revealing the hidden unity between modern science and ancient wisdom. Academia pressures us to choose. Society pressures us to choose, but you don't have to get trapped in this false dichotomy. The truth is, there are two sides of the same magnificent coin. But this mission isn't just about us, 
or about feeling better. There's a much bigger reason we're doing this. There's an ultimate why. If this mission, this idea of finding the hidden unity resonates with you, do me a favor and let me know down in the comments. I read all of them. And if you haven't already, please share this video with a friend or family member. It's the best way to help spread this message of truth. The ultimate why is this. The mystics teach that when we reveal the deep hidden unity in the world, especially the unity between secular and the holy, we are actively doing the work of bringing the messianic redemption, which will fulfill the ultimate reason why God created the world in order to build him a dwelling place down here. We are helping to heal the perceived fractures in our world by revealing the ultimate singular truth. This is why this channel exists. It's for anyone who has ever felt that crisis of faith because they are a rationalist. But this is far more than just a feeling. It's about arming yourself with facts. If you want to get into the details and really strengthen your conviction, click on the video over here to see how quantum mechanics actually agrees with the Bible's age of the universe. And if you want to delve into brand new syntheses of Torah and science each week, you can visit my main playlist of four minute videos right over here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Let's find this truth together.